2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long, and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. And let's see what he can do here today. Ah, oh, don't you love the long ball, Rich? Driving a par four, is there a few things more thrilling in the game? Oh, what a play. You know that. I love it when players are aggressive. Way to go. What a shot. That was a gallant attempt. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. He's currently tied for second. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Lovely effort, that. This shot from 120 yards. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Birdie at the last. This for another. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. He's currently sitting in third. Setting up now on a par four. Atta boy, good shot. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. And this is why you gotta keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good.
How close was that to going down? But in for birdie. Okay, let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in third place. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. This is a big par five, isn't it? Tee shot, if you have any hope of reaching this green at two, must find the fairway, avoiding the fairway bunkers down the left-hand side. From there, you'd have to hit a really strong three wood, moving it from right to left to try and chase it up onto this green. Laying it up short and right of that fairway bunker might be the play for most players, setting up a pretty easy pitch shot for their third. Second shot here on the fourth. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Look at this. Yes! What a putt. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. This player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. Like they're going with the pitching wedge. L is for left. I don't know if they meant to do that. Bad got a little out of control, I think. Gotta believe the wind affected the golf ball there. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Now, four under par. <laughs> Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Let's get back to it, shall we? This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, a nine foot chance here. Nice little par putt here. Looks good off the blade. Well hold. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four. Only the longest players will be able to reach that fairway bunker down the left-hand side that sits about 300 yards off the tee. Most players want to hug the left-hand side as best they can as it opens up the green for the second shot. This is a wonderful par four.
That got caught up in a few of the branches. Bit disappointing, that one. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's a little wayward. Bouncing through the branches. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Just six feet between here and the hole. Looking good so far. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that makes him tied for first. Seeing off here at the seventh. Not a bad line, this one. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's about 155 from this whole location. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Absolutely tattooed that one. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Second shot here on the eighth. Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, that was so close to going in. This is what they do week in, week out. This rivalry, I mean, it's got to have been expected. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. Looking really good, this one. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. off now on this par three a stronghold indeed not much to this green slightly downhill green is fairly flat until you get to the back left portion of it there it starts running away from you awfully quickly 
anywhere in the right center of the green is a gorgeous tee shot. Woo, back there, horsey. That's not the shot they were after. That yeah, took a bit too much club on that one. This putt just five feet away from the hole. This is what they have left for a part. Ooh, nice line. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Leading by a shot after that hole. Taking off now on the 10th hole. Absolutely flushed. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He's got roughly 105 yards here. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Club up. I like this play. Oh, well played. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Birdied their last hole. Oh dear. Can he get out of here? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the sand. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the hybrid. Well, what happened there? The fade didn't come to their aid. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Not much work left for the par either, Luke. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. Good par save there from the greenside bunker. Job well done. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? If that's the right pace. This should drop. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Well, that's a handy shot. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. 
He's gone down a club. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Well, 13, that's unlucky for some, Rich. But there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. <laughs> Nicely done. Well struck. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is up by three shots. Let's begin the 14th. Going with the five iron here. Good play there, Rich. I like it a lot. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by three. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, well played. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. <laughs> Going with the six iron here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par.
didn't quite get the approach close enough, so a long putt in front of them. He's got this for his part. That is hunting for the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Oh, you've made it. What a play. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Welcome to the tee of a par four. 16 is a wonderful par four, very difficult driving hole. You must keep it out of those three bunkers that dot both the right and left-hand side of the fairway. From there, you're gonna have a second shot that's fairly flat into, funny enough, a fairly flat green as well. Still, players are looking to make a solid four here. Nothing worse. Second shot here on the 16th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fiber. And if they didn't have their rival Tony Finau's attention before, they certainly do now. What an approach shot. And here we are with the third shot. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. This putt is about eight feet. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. So far, so good. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Now at the 17th hole. Most players will be able to get it over the fairway bunker down the left-hand side, some 275 yards off the tee. And from there, it's a pretty straightforward second shot with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood. Those who elect to lay up have to be mindful of the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. You can't get careless and knock it in there. Anywhere up and around the green, though, with your second shot, you should have a good opportunity to get it up and down for the birdie. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Wind is going straight at his back. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Mm, good chance this one. Right on six feet. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last. Good shot there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Go 
Going with the pitching wedge here. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Got to like their chances from there. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Firm, back, up the hill. This will be a good one. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. And that signs off on today's round. And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this player is just barely leading the field, but absolutely loving the action this week. No doubt, Luke. And even with the very slender lead going in tomorrow's round, Luke, I'm interested to see how well this player sleeps tonight. On behalf of Rich Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.